Hey fellas, I forgot to mention in my video that uh, my pastor, he came today and he uh, prayed for me. Great guy, great brother. Very generous of him to come by and uh, pray for me, you know, and I told him, you know, what I'm planning to do. And he was excited for me, you know, and he wanted to come home here in my home and pray for me and junior, you know, and hopefully everything falls into plan, you know, and for the future. Like, he's real happy for me, you know, I want to make these changes in life. And uh, I'm be showing you guys a picture of him in the beginning of the video. He's Filipino, older man. But he has a heart of gold, and uh, he's a co-worker of mine at work. And I'm really blessed to have him as a brother that cares for me. That's, that's why I was saying earlier in my video, there's a lot of people, great people out there. Take care, my brothers. I just wanted to share that with you guys. Good night. What's up, guys? It's almost evening. It's uh, late afternoon here, Saturday. Hope everyone having a blessed weekend. Junior's right here. He's right here eating. Right there. He's there chilling, eating. He's watching. Try to fix this Velcro. Excuse me. I need to get new Velcro. Today's shit will be with Phoenix Artists and Accoutrements, Dapper Dock, and Gondolier. This is a mashup, which means two cents and one cent. Two cents and one soap, I mean. Brand new puck for my man Reed, at, Reed from Denver, Colorado. I think it's Colorado. I don't know what part of Denver. He's from Denver, though. <laughs> Reed is awesome. Thank you, brother, very much. You see virgin puck right there. Both scents are right here. I have both scents in my den, and I'm telling you, it smells both like them. I get more of the Dapper Dock though. Dapper Dock is a lilac and fig, sweet scent. And the gondolier is a uh, Italian scent. Hope everyone's doing well. Thank you for joining me. Gondolier is bergamot rose, jasmine, oak moss, coumarin, citronella, ju jupiner, juniper, and cedar. And gondolier is a world, old world scent from Italy. I added it from Italy. And gondolier has been a while, been around for a while. Ever since I've known from uh, Phoenix Artists and Accoutrements. It's one of their popular scents. Dapper Dock is, is too. It's classic, in my opinion. I remember when I first uh, bought Dapper Dock, which is right here. This is my own puck that I bought first in the cocoa butter base. I uh, didn't know if I was going to like it. But I took a chance and Came home and I loved it. Awesome scent. Also got the matching app splash. The only thing I don't like about I like these bottles and everything, but there's one thing I don't like about them. It doesn't it doesn't have any restrictor on the on the inside. It just has a hole, and when you pour this out, after shit gets everywhere on the bottle. So you gotta be careful, guys, when you pour out. Last time I used the uh, the this bottle here, the last scent I used was uh from Phoenix was Astro Traveler. And when I poured the aftershave out afterwards, after the video, it got everywhere on the bottle. So you got to be careful, though. Uh, I like the older type bottles. I mean, I like the newer, the, the shape of the newer ones, but I wish it had a restrictor. And it does, sadly, it doesn't have a restrictor. Going to be using my uh, Cobalt Nebula brush from uh, West Coast Shaving. 26 millimeter three band. 
Badger. Very dead. It's not. Here's the puck. Like I was mentioning, brand new. Brand spanking new. Reed is so generous. Bless his heart. When you get to watch this, brother, thank you very much. I really appreciate your generosity. Let's see if Junior lets me shave. I hope he does. He always does, though. Give him his bottle. He's okay. Get some of this foam out of here. It's a lot of foam bubbles. Definitely don't want to use that. It smells great, though. So it smells amazing. <laughs> Once again, we'll go with that right there. You don't need a low a, a, a lot with uh, the cocoa butter base. Just decided to a little bit because uh, I'm using a badger. And badgers, you know, they they eat up lather. Always load extra when you're using a badger. There's times that I don't load enough and I have to go revisit the puck. Right, Junior? Sensory off the puck, I say is a six and a half. It's pretty stout. Ah, that's awesome set. Put drops right there in the middle. Start the ladder. Too much water in that knot. I should have squeezed it more. See that? Way too much water. I thought I squeezed it enough, but I guess not. Oh, it's everywhere. So it's everywhere here in my sink. <laughs> it's flying everywhere. Next time I know to squeeze more water out of it, it's not pretty dense knot. Got plenty of ladder though, I'm telling you. Forgot to use a cube. <laughs> I always wanted, wanted to use a banana cube that also re-gifted me, which is awesome. That cube is awesome. It's a light banana smell, but it doesn't interfere with your scent at all. See it peaks off the uh the co uh cocoa butter base is awesome. It's awesome soap. <sighs> More dye there everywhere. My brush is caked to the lather. <laughs> Try to clean it up so someone won't fall. I mean, if someone won't drop it, I want to drop the brush. Kate. <laughs> I 
Got a decent lather on the face. It's plenty. Clean my sink here. Give me a second, guys. Got a lot of mess over here. Next time I know to bring them up more. I'm gonna be using a PAA razor today tonight. A DE. This is from Phoenix Arson Accoutrements. It's called Name Taker. It's a chubby style razor. The uh, handle. Standard bar. Chase, great. I'm using a lattice blade. Stainless, super stainless. These blades come really nice wrapped, double wrapper. With absolutely no glue pump. There's a couple of dots there, but pretty much the blade, the blade is clean. Learn my blade. You get very little blade exposure on the sides of the razor, but still shaves great, just slightly. Can't really see it, but just slightly. Pass one with the grain. Got one day's growth. It's awesome. I truly enjoy it. This is a floral type scent for you guys that don't know. I love floral. Very slick soap, thick sod sex as you can see. Hope everyone's having a great weekend so far. I am. Well, last night wasn't a good night. Got locked out of my apartment, guys. It's really embarrassing, you know. I was out doing stuff, and I don't know how the keys fell out of my pocket. My keys to the house. There's an emergency number on the uh, lobby door from the landlord's office, which I called, but they couldn't help me. And everything was in my house. Everything was as a phone. I just stepped out to go do something real quick. And I didn't feel like I needed my wallet or my uh, phone, but always, whenever you go out, because you never know. Take that stuff with you. <laughs> because. Hi, Pupo. Uh, yeah, I needed my phone and could not get to it, you know. And luckily, a neighbor that I know that lives here in the complex 
I, I asked her if I could please use her phone. She was really nice and inviting me in her house to use her phone. And the reason why she invited me was because uh, she she asked me to first go talk to the landlord. And uh, the landlord wasn't available. So she had told me if I needed help to use her phone or laptop that stop by. And she was really kind enough to let me inside her house and do that. I first used her laptop, but uh, it wasn't working. This is something about the signal wasn't working. Fast one was great, very smooth. And uh, so she let me use her phone to call locksmith because I needed a locksmith to come and open my door. And guess how much he charged me, guys? Just guess. It was a hefty price. Cause it was late at night, after hours, and I guess they charge more when it's late. Late, and. Uh, they charged me quite a bit of money. Hold on, guys. Let me get Junior. Junior wants to be picked up. He lets me know when he wants to get when, when he wants to get picked up. <laughs> I haven't shown him on camera, but he's my big boy. <laughs> hi, Papa. Hi, hi, Papa. Say hi, YouTube. <laughs> he's always so serious <laughs> he's cute though he's a cute baby he's starting to talk a lot when I talk to him he coos and baby talk he's so cute you like that dapper dog papa? does daddy smell good? huh? does daddy still smell good? <laughs> I love him so much my junior my little junior yeah guys um he wants to look at the camera. Say hi. Hi, everybody. Hi. Mm, I love him. <laughs> yeah, guys, it was a hefty price for that. Uh, wow, I can't believe it. You know, it was, it's, it was expensive. It was $254. It was uh, two, I think, 30. Uh, no, 224 and the rest was for... Uh, uh, I don't know, some fee, the rest of it. So it ended up being $254 for them to open my door. And they opened my door like in less than a minute. You know, first the guy was telling me that if that, you know, the deadbolt was a good, good, good kind, of course. And he was telling me that he, if he could not uh, open the door, that he had to drill out the, the deadbolt. And uh, I told him, do what you got to do. I didn't have no phone. Junior was uh, had just gone to the bathroom, so he was a little fussy, very fussy actually, because he had just went number two, and and I didn't have nothing with me, no wallet to go to the store buy him diapers, nothing, and uh, everything was inside my house, my wallet, my phone. I had to call a locksmith. I had no choice. It was late at night, late at night, maybe like eleven thirty, close to twelve, and. Uh, <clears throat> Just ran to the store to go get something real quick. And I just had some a little bit of cash on me because I didn't think I needed my wallet, you know, for a bigger purchase. I just needed something to uh for the house. And I lost my keys. I don't know how they fell out of my pocket. I tried to look everywhere for them. I couldn't find them. So that that took almost half my paycheck there. And uh yeah, I had I had no choice but to call a locksmith. So they uh they opened the door for me and I got in. But yeah, guys, that happens, you know. That's happened to me the first time that's happened to me. Actually, that's never happened to me before. I gotta get some type of uh, lanyard or something to hold my keys next time, so I won't lose them. Because the pants that I had they didn't have pockets. They I had just some shorts, basketball shorts, and. I was I, I don't know what I was doing. I was I probably had I, I had my hands full carrying Junior in the stroller and I, I might have thought that I put it in his diaper bag, but I guess I didn't and they must have slipped out of my hand or something. I don't know. I tried to look for him early in the morning. Last night too. Went out there to go look for him with a flashlight and no luck. Even a homeless guy was like telling me that, you know, because I live downtown. He was telling me that if he finds him that he'll drop him in the mailbox. I was like, okay, I was just being nice to him, you know. And uh, he was being nice as well. He was trying to look, help me look for him. He had a flashlight too, and he was helping me. But that sucks, you know. It, middle of the night, 
with the baby and you know and he had just gone to the diaper no phone no wallet no money nothing i had to get in my house and thank god that late that that lady neighbor let me use her phone so i can call locksmith there's some kind people in the world guys there really is you know there really is there really is some nice people in the world that that you know that's they're they're great and it's it's a blessing to have around we uh lather part two off camera and uh i'm gonna put junior here sit him down and hopefully be he he's quiet for my next uh pass <laughs> say hi boo boo say hi everybody hi all right guys i'll be back that was an epic fail. I put him down, and no matter what I did, he just starts to cry. So I'm going to try to do my best and shave here the rest I, that I got uh, the, the past two off on camera. He just won't let me down. Junior's just that type of baby now where, you know, you, you put him down, he screams. <laughs> so I'm going to try to... Uh, do one that one side of my face. Doing it like a G. <laughs> Pretty hard to share with Junior around with having Junior around now. He doesn't let me do anything, guys. He needs a lot of attention. And I, I I understand, you know, he's a baby and babies need a lot of attention. I have to get a quick shave when he's sleeping. Like I had put him down and I got in the shower real quick. To, sh uh, to shower. Yeah, guys, so, you know, I'm pretty bummed out because that was my, my, my plane ticket to go to uh, Denver. Oh, Junior, you're going to the bathroom? <laughs> Just when I'm trying to shave this, this shave, he wants to go to the restroom. <laughs> Yeah, and I'm really disappointed because, you know, it was my fault that I lost my keys and now I have to pay for it and I can't go to Denver now. And guys, so this is going to be really, I hope he doesn't get upset. I hope you don't get upset, brother. But, you know, that's all the money that I had and, and I had to get in my apartment. So I hope you understand that. I hope you don't get upset. I was really looking forward to going with him and. Spending some great time, quality brotherhood time with him. He was gonna show me a lot. Do we're gonna do a lot. And now I can't go. I'm gonna have to reschedule and go some other time. First guy told us was gonna come meet me here, but he has an uh, injury to his leg, to his ankle, and he I didn't want him to come out here like that, you know, and put more stress on his leg. So I told him, let me come to you, and, and now I can't go to him. So I'm like, God, you know, why does this have to happen? But stuff happens, guys, you know, stuff happens without wanting to, and that happened to me last night without wanting to. Just being clumsy, I guess, you know, and I don't really want, I really, you know, I wasn't planning to not, to lose my keys. It just happened. Lost smooth. Very smooth. And with this side of the face, so I can get to part two. I mean, not the other side of the face. <laughs> Shit happens, you know, and what are you going to do, you know?
nothing but live life and continue on. Holding my my son here with one hand and sharing with the other one. <laughs> but I got him. I got him. I'm not dropping him. So don't worry. I'm not gonna drop him, guys. Never do that. If I didn't think I could do it, I wouldn't be holding him. Oh, that smells so good. I love this soap, scented soap. Two cents in one, love it. Badger hair. See when that happens with badgers. <laughs> you hear him? <laughs> I told you. El chingón doesn't lie. Is your fart bombing in here? <laughs> your fart bombing here, Papa, huh? Your fart bombing. <laughs> He's fart bombing. Like I was praying to you guys, you guys know that I'm a single father now and it's hard everything on my own, everything on my own, bills, rent, everything, it's hard, child support for two kids, it's, it's a lot, you know, and I'm not, in, I'm not made out of money and I don't make a lot of money, I make what I, what I do and just to get by, you know, with my bills and stuff and to survive. But I'm planning to go to school, guys. I'm planning to uh, go to Grossmont College, the community college they have here. Well, it's not nearby, but I have to get to it quite a ways. But I wanted to do it, you know, to get a better career for my life, for my kids. I'm planning to uh, join the core academy, which means it's is you attend an academy for, uh, I believe, 16 weeks. Uh, I think it's a couple months, not 16 weeks. I take that back. I'm not really sure, but it's a course that I take, had to take to get the course certificate to work in corrections. And um, I want to do that. I'm going to first try to get in the hospitals because that was always something I wanted to do. They pay, they pay good and they get, they, they have benefits. I don't have benefits at my job. Just get a paycheck and that's it. But, uh, yeah, that was my shave guys. Thank you very much for joining me. I really appreciate it. 30 minute video. I apologize, but junior woke up. So it took some time, but I shaved with the mashup t tonight. Uh, called the, uh, Dapper Doc and God Delir. Two cents in one, which is an awesome scent. Thank you, Tareed. Thank you, brother, very much. I really appreciate you. That was an awesome scent. I enjoyed it. I enjoyed the shave very much. And that soap is crown king, guys. It's awesome in every way. Great cushion. Awesome protection. Outstanding slickness. What more can you ask for? Great scent. Great artisans. Douglas and Fran, they're out there. Shoes are bomb too, you know. They're awesome. I'm gonna be applying some of this off camera, guys. Right off, uh, right when I end the video, and uh, can't do it because I'm holding Junior right now. But I'm gonna be slapping some of that on. And have a great night, guys. Take care, you know.
Oh, guys, hold this. You don't get mad at me, brother. You know, I'm about to shoot you a text and let you know before you watch this video. But uh, I hope you understand. And, you know, it wasn't my intention not to go with you. I would love to go with you and meet you and your wife. But the situation yesterday with the keys, losing my keys and I had to pay the locksmith. It sucks. <laughs> you know, and that was my plane ticket to go to Denver. Now I can't go because... I don't have that money. Oh. Take care, my brothers. Good night. Peace peace out, and God bless you all. Junior says bye. Bye. <laughs> Take care, my brothers. Thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. And thanks for the support as well. Peace.